My name is Bonnie Otwisho. I am the Assistant Resident City Commissioner Lira City. I want to take this opportunity and this moment to wish all our candidates who will be sitting for their primary living examination, Uganda Certificate of Education, and Uganda Advanced Certificate of Education, both in Lira City and the whole country at large, success in their examinations. As we are all aware, all the candidates in the country have already started their examinations. Most of the briefings are already done and examinations will kick off. I would like to take this opportunity and wish all our candidates success in their examinations. Most of our candidates have been uh, studying for some good years. For example, the primary uh, pupils for the seven years they will be doing their examinations only in two days. This is a moment that uh, as leaders, we really need to stand with our children who will be sitting in their examinations. We really want to wish them all the very best. We are aware that we have a role to play as leaders, as parents, as schools. We really need to support these children so that they finish their examinations very well. We are very ready and we are very willing to support them. We are ready to provide the security to ensure that when the examinations start, we do not have any inconveniences in most of these schools. We also call upon the parents to support their children and provide their children with all the basic needs. Those ones who have not yet cleared their school fees should ensure that they clear their fees and these children are not stopped from doing the examinations. To the school, we also want to request an appeal to them to ensure that those children who are needy, those ones who might have not finished their school deals, they shouldn't stop these children from sitting for their examinations. They can allow these children finish up their examinations and the fees balances can be sorted out when the results are out. As parents, it is a collective responsibility together with the leaders to ensure that the future of our children is guaranteed by supporting them, by ensuring that they do their examinations. Because when we don't let our children finish up their, 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 finish up their exams, we are not sure of their future because this is the only litmus test that their future will uh, dictate for them. Because when they do not sit, you are aware that they will not go to the next step. We are very willing and we are ready to support them where necessary. I also call upon the relevant stakeholders to come in at this time, the religious leaders, the political leaders, to come and pray for our children and wish our children well. I say all this for God and my country. Success to all our candidates. Okay, maybe lastly, uh, when I have the exams like this, um, there are always issues of examinal practice. What is your message for this? Thank you very much. My message on the exam multi-practices, I am aware when exams are around the corner like this, we always have masqueraders who move around to different schools, who penetrate through uh, teachers, sometimes also through the pupils and the students, with the intention of selling fake papers claiming to be from UNEP. I call upon all people to be vigilant at this time. Whoever is God, moving with the fake papers tagged or branded in the name of UNEP, we call upon the leaders or any concerned person to notify the relevant uh, stakeholders or ask the city leaders, especially the security, so that we come into action immediately and arrest those people because these are people who keep on masquerading with the intention of extorting money from the schools with the with with expectation of getting money from even some parents. And also some parents are funny. They leak also with some papers because they have their friends elsewhere in the country. They leak with some of these papers to their children through the schools. So this is a collective responsibility. I call upon everybody to be vigilant at this point. We shall be having our, our agents in most of these schools who will be moving around and giving us updates on a daily basis. And if we get anyone moving around with those fake papers, we shall be bringing that person to book and that person will be arrested.